Only on Eye with this news, a mother's bond. Last fall, we lost 17-year-old Maddie Potts of Richmond and 16-year-old Gianna Sorella of Warwick. While they shared so much in common, the two soccer players never met. Their moms, though, are forever bonded by something no parent wants to share. And now they're trying to turn their unimaginable loss into something positive, keeping their daughter's memories alive by helping others. Number 11, the team captain. She kind of led by example. Number 12, the goalie. She was just amazingly, from deep within, a strong, strong person. For Maddie, it was an aneurysm on the soccer field. Laying with your daughter when you still have your stethoscope and your work badge on, when she takes her very last breath. For Gianna, sepsis. She wheeled off that ambulance and she was horrified, but she grabbed my hand. When they lost their daughters, these moms found each other. When I found out that Gianna died, I just, I was in my own little hell and I thought, well, what would Maddie do? And Maddie would tell me, you need to call that mom. You need to reach out to that mom. This was her club jersey for forever. Since then, Stephanie Potts and Tara Sorella have been each other's source of strength. Were the cleats that she had just ordered. Their girls never knew each other in life, but Stephanie and Tara believe Maddie and Gianna are friends now and forever. I think they might have been soul sisters. Yeah, the similarities <laughs> are, are crazy. Come on, Maddie. Come on, Maddie. The soccer stars were both proud big sisters, fierce friends, and avid animal lovers. Look how pretty. Both mothers say their girls are constantly sending them signs that they're watching. Right? That's like Maddie and Gianna right there. <laughs> like this moment, right in the middle of our interview. They're like checking on moms. I sat down with Stephanie and Tara on a Warwick soccer field that both of their daughters played on. What goes through your mind that it's been a year? How do you plan to get through that date? I'm going to pick her up off the floor. And then when I go, she's going to do that for me. Right. It's the little things that get you. It's the things you don't expect that bottom you out. It doesn't matter that it's been a year. It's been five minutes in my world. Turning their grief into action, Tara formed the Gianna Sorella Memorial Fund to raise money for sepsis research. Stephanie formed the Maddie Potts Foundation to give back to the community and carry on Maddie's legacy. But they both very much laid the foundation for us mm -hmm. to build on of kindness, compassion, perseverance, hard work. Well, this story is heartbreaking. They're keeping their memories alive. I know, Shannon, you have a personal connection to this. Yeah, as many of you know, my family spent nine weeks in the hospital last fall when my son Carter got sick, and both Maddie and Gianna ended up in the ICU at the same time we were there. In fact, Gianna was just two doors down from us. We were blessed to be able to walk out of that hospital with our son healthy, but as you can imagine, we were just heartbroken to learn of both girls' deaths. And if you want to help out, you can find links to the Maddie Potts Foundation and the Gianna Sorella Fund it's on our website, WPRI.com. Now at 6, a mother's bond. At 5 o'clock, we brought you the story of how two local mothers coping with the loss of their teenage daughters one year ago have formed a beautiful friendship. Stephanie Potts lost her daughter Maddie to an aneurysm on the soccer field. Tara Sorella's daughter Gianna died of sepsis. New at 6, we're learning more about the foundations they've built in their daughters' names and how the community has stepped up in a big way to support them. It was a song on her late daughter's iTunes account that inspired Stephanie Potts to make sure her daughter's memory lives on. Macklemore's um, lyrics say that you die twice. The first is when they bury you in the grave. The second time is the last time that someone mentions your name. I am not about to let my daughter die twice. That is unacceptable. I, me, we are going to continue until someone else takes us out. She formed the Maddie Potts Foundation just two months after Maddie's death. These are um, all Gianna. For Tara Sorella, it was just weeks after her daughter Gianna lost her battle with sepsis that she formed the Gianna Sorella Memorial Fund. You're never thankful that um, somebody is going through this with you, but I... we're thankful. Over the last year, 
Fundraisers, galas, fitness challenges, through it all, these mothers have each supported the other's mission, and they've had the backing of their husbands, daughters, and the entire community to keep them going. I feel like I am the Maddie Potts Foundation, and she is the Gianna Sorella Foundation because we're the faces of it, but we couldn't be here and do what we do without Dan and Skip behind the scenes and, and Julia and Cassie and that same tribe we keep talking about. Maddie's foundation gives back to athletics, art, and other areas near and dear to Maddie's heart. Gianna's fund, raising money for sepsis research and prevention. I think it's enormous. It's like what keeps me and probably Tara going every day. And But they both very much laid the foundation for us mm. to build on of kindness, compassion, perseverance, hard work. Through indescribable heartbreak and grief, these mothers are making sure everyone knows what having a Maddie mentality and being G strong is all about. Giving back, looking ahead, and always remembering the beautiful girls who inspire it all. And you can find links to the Maddie Potts Foundation and Gianna Sorella Fund on our website, as well as links to the other stories we've done about the fundraising efforts. It's all on WPRI.com.